DSI and TCP model. In this video, you will learn about OSI and TCP IP model. OSI Open System Interconnection and TCP Transmission Control Protocol IP Internet Protocol is a standardization of international organization for standardization. In the early, early days, when customer buy, when customer want to buy devices, he or she need to buy all the devices from one vendor for communication to occur. So, for in the vendor side, it's a good, it's a profit to, for the vendor side. But for the customer, as a customer, I would love to buy different different devices from different vendors and connect them together. So, but during the early days. That was impossible. It was not. That was impossible. You need to buy all your devices from one vendor. There comes in an idea wherein we need to uh, an idea on standardization of wherein vendors, different different vendors, come in to make a standardization wherein a network standardization wherein customer will able to buy different different vendors devices connect them together and communicate so for example this is an rj45 cable with standardization standardization have make it possible that wherein this pin you can able to connect this rj45 cable to a an apple port and connect this so an uh, to a Dell, they both can communicate together with standardization. So OSI is just an idea of standardization, how computers or a framework of how computers communicate. How com computers communicate. So with the OSI model, we have seven layers in the OSI model. We have the application layer, the presentation layer, the session, the transport, the network, the data link, and the physical layer. Well, for example, mom want to communicate to her daughter Aisha. Mom first need to use the application. An example of an application, an application is a web browser. Web browser is an application. Then let me say mom want to use an email to communicate. Now mom will go to his to her email. And try to communicate to Adora. So, but the first packet need to the, uh, the packet will start from that application layer and move from the application layer to the presentation layer. The presentation layer where data formatting will happen. From that presentation layer, the packet will move to session layer. A session layer is where there is now a session between mom and her daughter Aisha. Now the packet will move from the session layer to the transport layer. In the transport layer now. We have some we have protocols there like the TCP protocol, we have the UDP, we have port numbers because now if mom is using a web browser, he's using a HTTP and the port number in that in the transport area now will indicate that he use she's using it port 80 with if she's using an email to do the the transmission from 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 her to Aisha, the port number for that session will be port 25. Then the packet will move from the transport layer to the to the network layer. In the network layer now, we have protocol protocols IP. We have the IP addresses there. We have the routing process will happen. Now from that network layer, the packet will move to the to the data link layer. In the data link layer now, the packets we talk about in there we talk about the MAC addresses. Where in the source MAC address, the source MAC address of mom. And the destination MAC address of Aisha. From there now, we move to the physical. In the physical now, there we talk about the bits. The packet have convert to bits and electrical. And the move now from mom to Aisha. The process of from the application layer to the physical layer, we call it encapsulation process. Now, when Aisha reply, when Aisha reply to mom the process now will start from the bottom from the physical to the application layer now during that process we call it 
decapsulation process. That's a decapsulation process. So the OSI model is so is so handy because it make when issue or you have any trouble in the network, you will know exactly where to look at in the in the network and and dictate that yes, here is the problem. This is an application problem or the network problem because with the seven layers, you will able to troubleshoot step by step or consider just go straight to the point where you say yes, this is the area where we are having issue with. So the OSI make it so easy. So with from the OSI is an old model. The new model now is the TCP IP model, the transmission control protocol slash internet protocol is the new model now we are using in the network industry so with this the difference is now between the osi model and it's the tcp model is that the osi model is a seven layer while the tcp layers now is a five layer the the application layer the transport layer the network layer the data link layer and the physical layer in the in the tcp in the tcp layer in the tcp ip model now the application session and presentation have been made as one while in now application presentation and session are now being combined make as one and the transport down the transport the the transport layer the network layer the data layer the physical layer are now the bottom layer the four bottom layer so with this now it have make also make troubleshooting easy now when something is an application problem you know exactly that this is an application layer and down the four the four bottom layer the, the transport layer the, the the network layer the data link layer the physical layer we the network engineers here we there we sit we look at things i love the tcp ip model because it make us really it make troubleshooting very very easy for network engineer for let's let me show you the 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 layers as i was saying this is the seven layers the osi seven layers these are the seven layers application presentation session transport network data link and physical layer now mom want to communicate to Aisha here so mom will use a web browser which is an application layer and the protocol for the web browser is http http so the, the data will start from the application layer and this application layer the data will move from the application layer to the to the presentation layer from the presentation layer the data will move from the present in this presentation layer, the data is in the data format in the data format now from the presentation layer to the session layer there's the session now between mom have opened a session to communicate between mom's pc here to aisha's pc here so now from here now the data will move from the present from the session layer to the transport layer in the transport layer now we have protocols like tcp udp and port numbers now for example mom is using an, a, a web a web browser a web page so mom is using http 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 port 80 which is port 80 sorry i'm just i'm using my mouse to do this <laughs> so you see now they did the the data will move now in this this transport layer from the transport layer now to the network layer in the network layer there we talk about ip address we talk about routing in the network from this from the network layer now the the data will move to the data link layer when the data is in the data link layer there we talk about now the mac address the, the source mac address here the source mac address of this pc and the destination mac address of this 
PC. We talk about that in the layer two, the network in the data link layer. Now the data will move again from from the data link layer to the to the layer one, the physical layer. In the physical layer, now we talk about the cabling in the physical layer in the layer one. So in the OSI model, the OSI model have seven layers. So this process, you can see that the process of data moving from from the layer seven to layer one, we call it encapsulation process. Now, when I shall PC here, when I shall reply from here to to mom's PC, the, the data now will move now from from down to up from layer one to layer to the seventh layer. The data will now move from layer one to the seventh layer. In that process, we call it the decapsulation process. So this is the OSI, the seven layers. So in this now, you can see the differences between the OSI model and the TCP. First, the OSI model is an old, it's an old model now. We never, we, we don't use it now in the networks. We are now using the, the TCP. We are now using the TCP IP in the network. So you can see the differences. The difference is that now in the OSI model. We have application presentation and session. In the TCP now, the new one, the new one in the industry that we are now using. Now you can see the application presentation and session have been bundled and made as one. We don't have now presentation and session. So now the packet now will move from the application to the to the transport layer. From the transport layer, you all you know that the transport layer we have we have port, uh, we have protocols like you have the UDP, you have the TCP. The UDP, UDP, have the TCP, TCP, nail it. So we have the TCP now and with, with the port numbers, all we have all those in the transport layer. So in the network layer now, we have, we are dealing with IP in the network layer with routing with routing all occur in the network layer now in the data link layer we are dealing with the mac addresses like the source mac address and the and the destination of this, uh, mac address in, in this layer two the the data the switch will look at the layer two that is this is this 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 data meant for me let me check the, is this the, this data meant from the source address to the destination address if it is marked, then the, the switch will forward the frame to the destination. If the, the mark address doesn't match, the switch will drop that frame. So now, from the data now to the physical, if in the physical now, it have, the data have become now a bit or electrical, and data now will move to Aisha's PC. So you can see now, from here, for me to, I want to also, to, I want to add more to this, in the data, in the transport layer, in the transport layer, when the data is in the transport layer, we call it segment. When the data is in the network layer, we call it packet. In the network layer, we call it packet. When the data moves to the data link layer, the layer two, we call it frame. And when the data moves to the physical layer, we call it bit. In the, in the network layer, the device we use in the network layer is a router can see it you can see it's the router and the device we use in the the device we use in in the data link layer we, we call it a switch the device we use in the in the physical layer we call it cables these are the cables so for help you remember the this this layer for your exam the application presentation session transport network data link and the physical please use this acronyms like for one please do not throw sausage pizza away the number two is please do not touch superman's private area i hope this will help you to remember and this start from the bottom to the top from physical to the application layer 
guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe to this channel i have a lot of mega laughs i have prepared for you please subscribe to the channel now thank you for watching please subscribe like comment share and turn on the notification so you won't miss any lectures in the course